of episode two, George was having a meeting and said, I need more female Jedis. Because they had filmed some of the original setting there. And she mentioned that I had several female students. So I got six female students, another female Filipino martial arts instructor I knew. And then I was lucky enough to get in there also and be in the, in the arena scene. Um, Did you get to kill or got blue skin? Questions like? about it. Did you die an honorable death? I don't think dying from droid fire is pretty honorable. <laughs> 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 true, true. I heard it was about dying. <laughs> uh, what color uh, saber did you did you have? Like? Um, I actually show up around 30 times. So I'm both Padawan, uh, an alien Jedi Knight. So you'll see me with different. Also, did double. Who did you double? Um, konti lang yun, hindi lang who, who did you double for? Like, uh, no, it was double. I mean, double double sabers. Oh, yeah. okay. So I had green, purple, pink, blue. Yeah. yeah. And you also teach martial arts. Yeah. So what I specifically did is I took uh, I teach Filipino martial arts. Been doing them since '90. I did I wanted to put in as many different styles as I could in into it but one of the things is you also got to keep in mind there's Jedi fighting that looks good on the screen and then if you're a real Jedi Knight you probably fight really differently and use it a lot easily but I mean I could show you stuff in terms of stuff that comes from Japanese the Western this next one I'm really excited because they're gonna have the lightsaber with the guards and stuff yeah and European martial arts are coming up the only place in the world where European martial arts continued was in the Philippines. So our scream, our NIST is part of that, but it's also our own stuff too. So, so demo, demo, para yeah. demo, 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 demo. Well, where's your? Why don't we? Who wants to practice some stuff and go over some concepts? Well, a lot of people here are really new to anything that has to do with this. Yeah, like someone. Who's new? Me. Oh. So uh, not a lot of them have martial arts background as well. Uh, okay. So we're all covering the basics to get everyone comfortable with wielding it. What are your basics? Uh, I've got some martial arts. And that's okay, fine. Cool. So we just you know yeah. spins and flourishes. But we would like to see some awesome stuff. So to get us you know really excited about. From scratch, can we from scratch? Let's this. start from scratch. I'm not gonna do these. Are, these are too nice. These are like. <laughs> I got one of the early generation of the first replicas and stuff, but the new ones are. Jeez, they actually feel good in the hand. The yeah. other ones feel terrible. So that's why we encourage people to use these stick things like in, you know, for practicing before they wreck the $200 toy that they bought. No, definitely not. What on sounds? Sound effects? There's some, that there are metal and sounds. But yeah, it would be cool to have your... Was this imported from the Bronx? Uh, Saber Forge? So US, so US. <laughs> Yeah, but we, you could, sh could you show us now how we should look like? Oh, and like after man. many, many, many months of practice. Yeah, I'm sure you put this down. Are these the training ones? Yes. This is, this is almost hey guys, like the real Hey guys, give Master. <laughs> space, space, space. Yeah, that'll be a Padawan, right, guys? Yeah. Uh, where are the Padawans? Yeah. I just give the concept. I mean, when I was picking up the lightsaber, my idea was that first off, it's green screen, and you also see why other people use. I got used a lot more than other folks because I'm, I'm doing forceful. You know, you want to have a sense of that impact going on there. But like I said, if it was really me, as soon as I hit the blade, I want to be able to strike around and <laughs> tear somebody up. Um, real life fencing, it's really short. Mm -hmm. But you know, big screen you want your, your movements big. Exaggerated, you want. You know, there's that great scene where, uh, what's that guy with the big moon head and stuff? Oh, Kid Adi Mundi. That particular. Mundi. Kid Adi Mundi. Kid Adi yeah, Mundi. Kid Adi Mundi. Yeah. <laughs> the guy who looks like he's got ginger on his head. Yes, Julia <laughs> man. <laughs> so you can add all these other elements there. But um, are you guys going for solo stuff or? Well, we're, we're, we're hoping to do a lot of. At, at, Start a lot of demos with flourishes and fancy motion picture stuff. Uh, not as a stunt, but as a group demonstration. So like Abby Oni stuff, uh, Abby uh, uh, Obi Annie stuff. Okay. Uh, so that you know, to get people excited about. Just uh, are you replicating actual scenes? Or are you no, going to make no, up no, your no, own no. stuff? Or? Not, not yet. Not okay. yet. So because ToyCon's coming up, and it'll be a good, you know. 
and then eventually we'll choreograph duels or yeah because yeah. for me you're gonna learn faster if you start practicing with each other but there's solo stuff do you have, do you have like solo practice goals that you guys are doing yes we do you're just doing twirling and stuff on yeah, the side uh, some of that too this yeah. is actually a traditional thing of twirling like this mm -hmm. and um at the extension it builds the strength there First one's coming up. We were doing that earlier. The ladies. Alright, you want to play with me? You want to play with me? Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! Just tell me what to do. Amber, you say? I don't know, we could do this and just see how it goes. Can we use uh, no? lighted ones for well, the ones that break? He looks pretty strong. <laughs> no, that's the other thing you want to keep in mind. How you train has to be appropriate for it. Like the ones we trained with for PVC pipes. They like these? They break. Yeah. Yeah. They break very easily. We're working on getting rattan for uh, those white uh, tubes. Yeah, you can get it super cheap and easy and stuff. Yeah. Let's start off with you want it to see lit. Yes. Well, these are actually dueling sabers, so it, they're not easy to break. Okay, but still. Yeah. Wow. Oh, beautiful, amazing. Right. <laughs> so let's just touch. Be there. And you want to get a sense of how can you build up here? The timing. Ooh. Pare okay lang. Oh, look. and then we're, we're controlling the, the the the. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm afraid to break these. Don't worry. It's like you know, if you break it, keep on it. Wait, wait, wait. When you strike, do you go for the head or the, not necessarily? But. Okay, you're gonna. That's a good question. You're gonna be a lot safer if you start learning to aim from here on and then aim here. But you're hitting with this last portion and then you're blocking down, down there. But that's from a martial arts perspective. I mean, when you're choreographing, you might want to take advantage of stuff out there, and then you're closing in the distance, and then you can get in there, so you can play with it. You want to play with the range to make it exciting. You might be doing long things out there, or we're hitting it and stuff, and then how can we move in? So you guys can move in stuff like that. That's mga lock, like saber locks. And... But it's going to get boring, right? So it's like, how can you make it exciting? change it up and add stuff to it or I mean I just came up here but if we want to play with stuff how can you have you guys play with stuff <laughs> it's up to what do you want to develop well for, for now we want to get people comfortable with handling the, the sabers When your guys are first starting, keep it safe. This will be your distance. We can hit each other and smash up our hands a lot e easier. But if you're training out at this distance, and then here's how I mark it, and then he can get into his stance. So now we know if we step in, this is where we can hit good weapon contact. Slow it down. Start off slow. Tap. Just tapping it. You guys can start walking and see how you become comfortable. The whole point is how do you become comfortable with your weapon. And you can practice the same thing. Uh, okay, so we've seen uh, contact. So do you want to continue with contact stuff or you want to practice uh, more twirls? <laughs> Give that girl a red saber. <laughs> uh, MB, why don't you practice? With okay, you gotta, you gotta leave. So you have uh, an idea on how we are basically here. Yeah. 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 Dream come true. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>
I didn't know he was coming. I didn't know he was coming. He's the guy. He's the guy. Yeah, I went to eat those. But he looks legit.